Hi, welcome to City Space Storytime. I'm Sharon Brody from WBUR. Thanks for reading with us today. And our book is Tooth Nasher Super Flash by Daniel Pinkwater. And we want to thank Daniel Pinkwater, the author, for giving us permission to share this with you this way. Tooth Nasher Super Flash by Daniel Pinkwater. Tooth Nasher Super Flash by Daniel Pinkwater. And the author has written a dedication in the book to Al, who keeps the old green thunderclap going. Mr. Pop Snorkel decided it was time to buy a new car. His old car, a green thunderclap eight, was just about worn out. So Mr. Pop Snorkel and Mrs. Pop Snorkel and the five little Pop Snorkels all got into the worn out green thunderclap eight and went looking for a nice new car. They drove down to the highway where all the car dealers were and looked at all the signs and shiny new cars in the windows. Look, shouted the five little pop snorkels, the Tooth Nasher Super Flash. That's a great car. It is a pretty color, said Mrs. Pop Snorkel. It was light blue. Mr. Pop Snorkel turned into the parking lot of the Tooth Nasher car dealer. A salesman came out. I am Mr. Sandy, said the car salesman. May I show you the new Tooth Nasher Super Flash? We only have one left. Is it the light blue one? Mrs. Pop Snorkel asked. Mr. Pop Snorkel and Mrs. Pop Snorkel and the five little Pop Snorkels and Mr. Sandy the car salesman all got into the Tooth Nasher Super Flash. Mr. Sandy drove and Mr. Pop Snorkel sat next to him. Mrs. Pop Snorkel and the five little Pop Snorkels all sat in the back seat. See how smooth it rides? Mr. Sandy asked. We love this car, shouted the five little pop snorkels. Buy it, Daddy! It is a beautiful light blue, Mrs. Pop Snorkel said. Would it be all right if I drove the car for a while? Mr. Pop Snorkel asked Mr. Sandy, the car salesman. Mr. Sandy pulled over to the side of the road and got out and opened the door for Mrs. Pop Snorkel, who got in the front seat with Mr. Pop Snorkel, who had moved over behind the steering wheel. Mr. Sandy, the car salesman, got in the back seat with the five little Pop Snorkels. Yay! shouted the five little Pop Snorkels. Daddy's going to drive the Tooth Nasher Super Flash! Mr. Pop Snorkel started the Tooth Nasher Super Flash. It roared out onto the highway. The tires squealed. Other drivers honked their horns. Yay! The five little Pop Snorkels shouted. Perhaps you shouldn't drive quite so fast until you're used to the car, Mr. Sandy, the car salesman said. What does this button do? Mr. Pop Snorkel asked as he pushed a button on the dashboard. The Tooth Nasher Super Flash rose up on his rear wheels and zoomed along the highway with his nose high in the air. This is very nice, Mr. Pop Snorkel said. And what does this button do? He pushed another button and the car began to rock from side to side on his rear wheels. Then the rear wheels turned into little legs and the car turned into a dinosaur running on its hind legs. Fine, said Mr. Pop Snorkel. I like a car that turns into a dinosaur. And what does this button do? He pushed another button. The dinosaur put his nose down near the road 
and began to run on all fours. Then the Tooth Gnasher Super Flash turned into a galloping elephant. Yay! The five little pop snorkels shouted. It turns into an elephant too, dear, Mr. Pop Snorkel said to Mrs. Pop Snorkel. That's very nice, dear, said Mrs. Pop Snorkel, and such a lovely color. But do you have to go so fast? Of course not, Mr. Pop Snorkel said. Now, let's see what this button does. He pushed another button and the Tooth Gnasher Super Flash changed from a galloping elephant to a gigantic turtle. My goodness, this is really a good car, Mr. Pop Snorkel said. It turns into a dinosaur and an elephant and a turtle. Can it do anything else? I really don't know, said Mr. Sandy, the car salesman. I've never had a car turn into a dinosaur or an elephant or a turtle before. This is not the way the Tooth Gnasher Super Flash is supposed to behave. Well, it's just the way I think a car should behave, said Mr. Pop Snorkel. The only thing I'd like this car to do, besides turning into a dinosaur and an elephant and a gigantic turtle, would be to turn into a huge chicken and fly. Now, let's see if there's a button that will do that. Mr. Pop Snorkel found another button on the dashboard and pushed it. The Tooth Gnasher Super Flash turned into a huge chicken and flew all the way back to the car dealers. This is a first-class car, Mr. Pop Snorkel said. We'll take it. Yay! shouted the five little pop snorkels. It certainly is a lovely color, said Mrs. Pop Snorkel. I never saw a car do any of those things, said Mr. Sandy, the car salesman. Mr. Pop Snorkel and Mrs. Pop Snorkel and the five little pop snorkels traded in their worn out green thunderclap eight and gave Mr. Sandy lots of money. They drove away in their new light blue Tooth Gnasher Super Flash. Yay! We love our new car! The five little pop snorkels shouted. It really is a lovely color, said Mrs. Pop Snorkel. It's a nice car, all right, said Mr. Pop Snorkel, but... It can't do half the things our good old Thunderclap 8 could do. The end of Tooth Nasher Super Flash by Daniel Pinkwater. And now it's time for a lanyap. A lanyap is a word that means a little something extra, a little bonus, a little special something, a little gift. And today to go along with Tooth Nasher Super Flash, the story by Daniel Pinkwater, we have some wind up toys that match the story. And we'll start with a wind up car that does some kind of strange things. Come on, little car. Thanks, little car. And we also have a wind-up dinosaur, just like in the book. And we have our old friend, the wind-up elephant. Last but last, last but not least, our wind up chicken. Okay. 
And those are our friends from Tooth Dasher Super Flash by Daniel Pinkwater. And thanks for reading with us today. We'll see you in the next book.